Alright, I think we're just gonna continue trying to clear this machinery. And the best way to do that is to go to the base. Oh right, I need to make contact again because they took it away from me. Those bastards. But yeah, we lost a crew member and that was sad. It made me sad. 30 intel? Right, because it's, it's reduced because of the, uh, the fact that we have local relays, thankfully. Attempting to Let's get this going. Local I hate to do this, but you're the only one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. Set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through. Okay? Whoa! Are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power! Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Doctor. The process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. I had a mild moment of panic there where they were talking to the camera in first person and because the camera keeps cutting around between being my perspective, my point of view and being just random camera angles, when she was talking directly to the camera, I thought they were gonna send the commander in the portal. I'm like, that's a terrible idea. What are you guys doing? It is weird that they... there's like no way of telling when the game's first person or not. Oh well. Oh wow, this dialogue is so... wow, this window is so big it actually scrolls. And I was not reading it. Awkward. Although the logistical concerns involved in transporting a large piece of potentially unstable alien technology were difficult to manage, they are, are easily dwarfed by the risks involved in attempting to operate this device within the confines of the Avenger. Although Shen and I both had our concerns, given the directives of our operation, we saw little alternative but to begin experimenting on this gateway as soon as possible. After a period of slow deliberate, pow uh, deliberate power increases accompanied by the appropriate level of monitoring, we felt comfortable enough to leave the gateway opening, uh, operating in its idle state. At that point, we conducted a series of simple tests on various objects to better understand how the terms, how the aliens use the device for transportation. Initially, we saw no means of actually putting uh, the gateway into an active state. That is to say, the gateway itself seemed to disregard or ignore the objects we passed through. Having studied the alien codex and its ability to open rifts in the field for deplo uh, deployment, we theorized the gateway may be tied to a similar signal or key integrated in the codex itself. Sure enough, by mirroring the frequencies found in close proximity to the codex, we found that the gateway itself enters a second active condition. Shen was hesitant to re uh, relegate her pet gremlin to use in our experiment, but she recognized the value of having a remote test subject, and we had no 
other units available for spare. Unfortunately, our initial theories as to the Gateway's function overlooked the possibility that it also tied to the biological components of the Codex. Shen's personal gremlin suffered some relatively minor damage during our test, but its sacrifice led to an important revelation in terms of how we might access the Gateway and discover its source, Artegan. This automatically scrolling screen is annoying as all hell, by the way. Why did I, why does it not have a scroll bar? Why can I not, like, I can't mouse wheel it or drag it or... Why would they do that? It scrolls so slowly. Just because there's like a few lines that don't quite fit. It's like when you have, it's like when you're trying to figure out what a skill does on your skill tree and, and the game is slowly scrolling and you're like, No, just give me control over the text. I can't read it, damn it. Uh, Cyanogate Hieroglyph, code name. So not the uh, the long explanation didn't give me us uh, give us that much more new information honestly compared to the project itself. Do I have other projects to do? Nope. So we're done with shadow projects for now. Might as well check to see if I have any more research. research. Progressing as expected, Commander. Wow. Yeah, I have just nothing to do with my scientists. Can I cross train them into being engineers? Is it too late for that? Alien psionic gate. I firmly believe the experiment itself was absolutely critical to our future operations. We now understand exactly how the gateway functions and what will be required should we attempt to pass through. Still, I must admit, I do feel some regret over the damage done to Shen's gremlin, even if it is only a machine. Oh yeah, she clearly has some kind of actual... She, she clearly uh, has attachments to it. I actually, I forgot the details specifically, but I'm sure it has something to do with her father, like it might have been her, might have been theirs, or it's just the one that she works on all the time, and she's attached to it because it's really hers. Uh, at this point we're just gonna finish making contact. It's too bad you can't, like, reassign scientists to become engineers at, like, 50% uh, fifty percent usefulness or something like that. Oh, that ship is right there. Is he about to run into me? I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I have come to suspect that this creature's unusual appearance is somehow directly connected to its notable psionic aptitude. The aliens always have some reasoning to their actions, even as twisted as it is often revealed to be. Codename Barrett? What's the re- I wonder what the explanation is behind that one. So we got an alien psi amp available. Ooh! Can we get more powerful psi powers then? Having encountered a number of aliens capable of wielding psionic power, it should come as no surprise that there is aptitude and abilities- uh, that their aptitude and abilities are often unique to a given species. In this case, the subject henceforth referred to as the gatekeeper is on the extreme end of the spectrum in terms of psionic sensitivity. However, our, reports to our efforts to analyze the subject have so far revealed little in terms of its actual purpose or intention in the field. Unlike the Codex, so far we've found nothing that would allow the Gatekeeper to open or control a rift. All current indications point to an unusually independent, unpredictable species. Alien Psy Amp. That'll be interesting. This version of the Psionic Amplifier incorporates artifacts from the powerful Gatekeeper alien we encountered. It will put our experienced Psy operatives in the same level as the alien's most powerful psionic forces. And I'm sure it requires a, orders, something I Commander? don't have the ability to build right now. Is, is it a weapon? Yes, it is. 15 Illyrium Crystals. So I have 3 Illyrium Crystals, and overall I need 35 to do the remaining weapon upgrades. Out of these three, the Psy Amp would probably take priority. Because that- because I like- I like my Psy powers now. Those are fun. <laughs> Back to the calendar, so that we can progress it very slightly, and then immediately- yep. Long live the resistance! Turns out it's very easy to re-establish contact with something if you never left in the first place. Alright. Where's that ship going? It's weirding me out. Can I hit- let's head, let's head towards the... I don't know. I don't know. Let's try to head to the base if I can. Uh-oh. Ooh! Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I thought it was going to the top right, so I thought it was gonna outpace us. It actually came to exactly where we were. We just barely dodged it, I think. Alright, let's, uh... Let's see, we should be currently... Let's Welcome, Commander. We can buy a scientist. 
Right now, it should be helping us with repairs, right? So we could, so we, could, so we can clear debris faster. Seven days. Six. Five. UFO inbound. Commander, we've detected an alien UFO in close proximity to the Avenger and it is rapidly advancing towards our position. Is it that? Oh, it's that one. How many UFOs are there? Holy crap. Uh, begin invasive maneuvers. I guess we failed every objective, didn't we? That's not good. Setting course for the Indian regional zone. What is gonna happen? Oh, we went right back to India. In that few days, did he just circle the entire planet and then head back to the... the, the base? Um, I don't have control over the game right now. I think, I guess we're waiting. Are we waiting? It's coming straight at us. Okay, well. <laughs> Good evasive maneuvers. We stood completely still. out of the sky. They don't want us. They want the ship. Isn't there some way you can override it? Not from here. I can't get our engines online while it's out there. Commander, we're gonna have to do this the old-fashioned way. Destroying that spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. We're going down, Commander. UFO contact has disabled our systems. Brace yourselves. Operation Half-Eaten Apollo. What? Uh, Avenger defense. UFO attack. Defend the Avenger. The Avenger is under attack and must be defended at all costs. Ready your troops, Commander. This is a new one. I'm excited. Commander, we can deploy some of our wounded troops back into combat if you feel it's necessary. This operation is critical to our efforts. We may not have much of a choice if we want to proceed. What in the world happens if you use wounded soldiers? In order to ensure the success of this vital operation, the wounded soldiers may be assigned to the mission. What does wounded do? Is he a reduced hit points, I assume, or something? I should have more than enough other soldiers to pick from. Yeah, I have a ton of people to pick from. So that's not necessary. But, uh... Oh, it's just listed as difficult. That's pretty easy by the standards of... Everything is saying that's like, very difficult, super difficult, impossible, you're fucked. All right, everyone's swapped out and ready to go. Unfortunately, we have no idea what we're up against, so uh, we'll see how that goes. But hopefully got a little bit of everything in the party. Weird that you're limited to a few crew members in the case of being attacked on your whole ship. You'd think that everyone would be ready. Bam, ten soldiers, everybody shoot everything. Fuck those guys. They're taking our home. Menace 1-5, situation critical. Primary Avenger systems are offline and hostiles are moving to engage. Shen, any updates? Commander, we've got a critical system failure. The Avenger is dead in the water. I'm diverting reserve power to the scanners and they're picking up a powerful radiation source nearby. We need to locate and destroy whatever it is disrupting our systems. We may have a bigger problem, Commander. We're picking up heavy comm traffic. Dozens of Advent transports are inbound on our position, and they've got battleships in tow. The aliens are sending everything they've got. We have to get this ship off the ground, or we may not make it out of this one. It actually looks surprisingly close, all things considered. It doesn't have that many hit points, so I just have to destroy it? Oh, and they must also- we have, we have to defend this location simultaneously. So we have to set up defensive perimeter to keep anyone from getting in here. Possibly by having snipers positioned, for example. And then we have to... Yeah. 
I, this seems like a bad time to skull jack a codex, to be honest. By the way, uh, Gandhi is wounded out of all these characters. It seems to be the effect is just he is missing one block. To be fair, he was lightly wounded. It's It, it didn't even say one day anymore. It just said he's lightly wounded for days. As opposed to, uh... Uh, Ed had he said that he was gravely wounded for eight days. Gandhi didn't, didn't even have days anymore, so he just, he just lost one hit point. And I, I assume he works normally otherwise, because he's he should be fine. But apparently, zoom in and zoom out are actually lo they're T and G. Ooh, I can see so much. Then you can zoom all the way in. I've only been using the mouse wheel, which just goes up and down vertically by floor. But if you press D, you can actually zoom out to get like a good view of the whole area. Look at that! I can see the objective and my characters at the same time. I know some people get mad if you zoom out too much or something, but I don't know. That might come in handy. Although T and G are really awkward hotkeys to press, all things considered. Although nothing can be nothing nothing can be too awkward in a game where you never have to do anything in real time. <laughs> all right, let's make an, let's make a slow approach with our heaviest character. Before we get surprised. Obviously there's no stealth here. Whatever we see is just going to attack us. So we'll try to be careful here. On the move. We'll, get our, we'll get our Psy operative behind cover too. Got some ad -bang oh, here. it begins. I'll have to pick an... Oh. Yeah, they like to remind me that every chance they get, but uh, I'm not going to try to do a crazy Skulljack objective when I'm dealing with this thing right now. I don't want to know what's going to happen. Last time they told me to Skulljack somebody, a codex showed up, and it was, at that point in the game, a genuine threat. I'm not looking to repeat that situation. Let's see. They very well could approach from both sides as far as I can tell, so... I think I'm gonna want to bring my two snipers to these two alternate forms of cover. Finally. That way with their squad sights and stuff they can, they can, uh, hopefully cover the, the base while everyone else goes out and fights. Can you hit them? 35%? Not great. We could do a guaranteed hit chance, which would be nice, but then they would just split. Can I launch an EMP bomb very far? Ten points of damage would not kill, I don't think. Nope, that would do similar damage to everything else we're doing here. Gandhi could have some fun with a few things. I'm kind of curious that if I might control the codex, what would happen at that point? Like, would I get cop control over every copy as a split? Could I just keep creating codexes to attack everyone? That could be fun. Unfortunately, it's also a low chance of success, and I only get to do it once, once per mission, which makes me less interested in trying to do it, as opposed to a Void Rift. First of all, though, let's check in our flashbangs. Zulu has our flashbangs, I think? Yeah. Moving to designated position. Let's get her in there. We want to take out the Codex as fast as possible, because our characters are still pretty close together, and I don't want anybody... Here we go. Flash out. I very much do not want... To deal with uh, the codex disarming everybody, that's just a, f or or just putting a code a vortex in the middle of the place I'm trying to defend. That also would suck. So if I can cause some damage to these guys, that'd be nice. Welcome to the void. Here's a good start. Yay! Little piece of their own medicine. Now, if I shoot them, they should go down. Actually. Ooh, lighting hands. Yeah, it's a it's a free shot. Take it. Nice little particle of damage there. I only scratched them. Let's right, see. I see no turn requirements, so we're, at least that much is good. Hail of bullets, guaranteed kill. Go for it. I don't want him. I don't want a codex to AOE my entire party. So I'll gladly just blow it away and just go overboard with that. He gets, he gets at least, I believe he gets two free reloads. So it's not much of a hindrance to use up my shots either. Let's get you in attack range. Might be able to take the last guy out too. 64%. Definitely, definitely get the kill though if it works. 
Nope. You shot the post, you dummy. Yeah, I didn't get it. Who's a big old pile of dummy? I like that dialogue, though. Yeah, I didn't get it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, take the shot anyway. It's a pistol shot. Who cares? Next round will be next round. Next round will be ready for sniping. You're not. You can't see crap from back here. Just go into Overwatch. The important thing is that the real problem's gone, and the uh, Lancer at least has been flash banged, so he's not super likely to be dangerous. The big question is what else is going to show up, because I fully expect some other enemy to just show up during this turn. part of why the snipers are hanging back to defend. I'm shouting things. What? What? We have reinforcements? Who is this guy? It's Evo Dominic. We are getting reinforcements. That's freaking cool. Wow. I was, yeah, that's exactly what I was worried about. Like, like I, 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 I always kind of dislike it when they... They have a thing where it's like you're at, instead of being a, a, a dispatch mission, you're you're freaking under attack, but for some reason, for no real good reason, uh, the games are like, "But well, we can still only use six people." It's like, no, that's dumb. But yeah, I, I picked an initial group of six people, and then somebody else came out. The obvious downside here is that while I do have a lot of troops, uh, it is potentially risking the lives of characters that I did not choose to deploy myself, which is kind of scary. All right, we're probably gonna spot somebody new. Yep. Oh thank goodness! So many, of the, so many of these guys are just troopers. That's good news. All right, snipers. That's a garbage a chance. What if I, what if I go dead eye? Ooh, look at that! Even lower hit chance. <laughs> that is silly. All right, I'm gonna want to destroy their cover if I want to get a really good shot on them. This guy's way out here. Don't have a lot of really good targets to try to mind control so far. Let's see what kind of shock does our. I'm sorry. Let's get to our get to our grenadier. Oh, there we go. How about you? 47, 44, 29. Suppression's good for avoiding them doing damn attacks at all. Acid bomb, I should... Yeah, I but yeah, I have situational grenades. I have an anti-machine grenade, and I have an anti-armor grenade. None of my opponents have armor or machines, though. Domination could probably target a few different people. That, that guy's a bad target, but the, 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 that's a soldier over there. Like, he could be fun to target. Maybe if I head over that way. Moving to position. Let's see if we can have some fun here. I can only mind control the Lancer. Well, at least it's pretty much guaranteed. I'll go for it. We could have fun with that. Although mind controlling a guy all the way out there could trigger a whole bunch of attackers. We'll see how that goes. We might be triggering a lot of over we might be turning a lot of characters into Overwatch mode while a bunch of surprise aliens show up. Fuck. Hey, look! It's a machine that's single-handed. The re it's it's the enemy that single-handed the reason why I brought both a uh, why I brought both an EMP, EMP bomb and an acid bomb. Wait, I can attack the I can attack the beacon from here. Is it guaranteed? That's a big deal. That said, I have crazy line of sight that covers like everything, so maybe I should focus on that. A kill zone would be crazy right now. I get so many shots off against these guys. See, I want to get all of the all of these guys in the range. What if the hit chance is so bad that's not worth it though? I'll give it a go. It sounds too fun not to do. How about you? You also have kill zone. Fantastic. We're just gonna take a whole bunch of shots at these guys. It's a gatekeeper and it's two berserkers. Berserkers are no, not not they're mutons, right? Yeah, berserkers are the naked ones. Those ones are weird. Uh, 
That guy's technically still out there being a sad little lonely man that no one's paying attention to. Uh, Zulu could rapid fire somebody. Let's see, I don't have control over this robot yet, do I? I click on him and nothing happens. He has, I don't have control over him until next turn. So he's gonna be a target for everybody. They're definitely gonna attack him and flank him and everything. So I'm gonna send an aid protocol his way. Come on, so many, so many to scroll through. Let's defend him a little bit. He'll be, a, he'll be ample distraction. Thankfully, not very many people are dead yet, so there's not that many people for the zomb for to be to be revived by the zombie weapon. Let's see if we can just clear this guy out. There we go. One less thing to worry about. Hooded had a very... Hooded had a good turn. Alright. We're, de we're definitely in the territory where between having seven soldiers and having a mind-controlled character, it would be kind of nice to have a, uh, an art, like a Dragon Age style thing where there's a bunch of health bars on the side of the screen that tell me who all my characters are and who has AP left. It's becoming a bit much to keep track of now. See, that guy's the bad guy. If I run and gun, I could really fuck him up. Or try. That could be fun. Let's try it. Run and gun. Moving to fire position. Go, go, go. We're gonna have some fun here. Howdy, folks. Rapid fire. That's a garbage hit chance. Let's see, I could do a Mimic Beacon, or I could go for the running gun. Could go for a grenade if we could throw it far enough and it would take out their tree. Except that this, this one can only take out my tree. And this one has all the wrong weapons. Ooh, can I throw the, throw the EMP? Oh, I can take all the, the bomb all the way to the, uh, the big baddie. That'd be good news, too. How about the acid bomb? Less area so we can't reach him. Yeah, let's do some preemptive damage. Maybe we'll get lucky and take him out at that point. There we go. Nobody likes a gatekeeper. Oh, he's actually stunned. That was an outcome I didn't necessarily account for. Let's see. Oh okay, yeah, you can run and gun too. That's fun. Moving to fire position. Oh, that's some... Oh, you already moved though. Okay. We can get close enough to grenade better. Be okay. It's so crazy having this many characters. Alright. Fuck up this guy's cover. Don't blow up the tree, don't blow up the tree, don't blow up my... You blow up my tree! Damn it! I really don't like it when a game when this game lies to me about what the explosion radius is gonna be. Because they just lie to you sometimes, and that's really a bummer. Alright, well if I kill this guy, we'll get a, an escape chance. What's the point of highlighting what's going to get blown up by an explosion if, if the end result is totally different from what you say? That's one of the things I normally like about this game is that it tells me what's going to happen before I do it, so I can, besides the percentage stuff, of course, so I can make smart decisions, but the explosions are just kind of lies sometimes. Let's see, is the fence... I feel like the fence might not be good enough cover. This tree is full cover. Oh, and that's the boundary of the level. Nice. Let's get to the tree. There we go, things could have gone worse. Oh no! An Andromedon? There are more things coming than I was expecting, and I just realized how vulnerable Gandhi looks right now. I'm sorry, how many codexes are out there? And is that like a super codex? Oh no, they were just in the darkness. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many. Oh my god! What? There's another mech in s next to the mech? Oh no. Oh my god. Their units keep coming. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm just gonna want to try to snipe their uh, tower. Adjusting aim. Holy shit, this is not a you try to win situation. This is just. Sh this is to tell both snipers to shoot their tower so we can get out of here situation. Oh my god. Enemy is still 
Also, none of this kill zone stuff's gonna work out. <laughs> oh, there's now there's a shot at least. Yeah, that's that's a dead that's a dead muton. A fucking Andromedon. Wow. The fact when they when it was just listed as being a difficult mission, I didn't account for this kind of offensive force coming in. I never I never considered that this much could happen. So. I, I took my chance of, of controlling one little Lancer, because I was like, why not? Surprising lack of triggers there. Let's try to shoot their base. I think it's just a guaranteed hit. Probably because it can't evade. So, it's really wounded. Maybe I just win by shooting it twice real quick. Free reload. I'm ready. Fuck your base. Do I just retreat now? Target destroyed. Because this is scary. Excellent work, Menace One Five. Shen, what's our status? Whatever it was, destroying it seems to have lifted the disruption field. Engine control systems are coming back online. We should be clear to take off within 60 seconds. Commander, we can take off on your order. We should get the squad on board and get moving. Oh, so now we we do just run. So, huh? Interesting. I think I, I think the existence of mind control expanding my line of sight so that my entire party could shoot the tower, uh, if my snipers could both shoot the tower, I think I might have accidentally had like the optimum strategy on accident, basically. It triggered a fuck ton of attackers, but it meant that all of these guys just spawned, but my characters never really left the base except for Rose being scary far away, but she might be able to sprint back in time. She can, she can almost sprint back. What does that say? Lift off of engine? No! Get to the base first. <laughs> That'd be terrifying. Uh... I'm not gonna quite run all the way back yet. I'm gonna go one... On I'm gonna take one movement action. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw a Mimic Beacon to protect my party better. Hey look, a big obvious target out in the open. And she can sprint back to the Avenger next turn. So now between... Between the... Distra this distraction and the Lancer guy... My party should be... There should be better targets than my characters for a while. I could blow up that corpse. I'd really rather blow up an enemy though, that has attacks. Honestly. Throw a plasma grenade, that'd take that guy out of cover. So can I get you back into the base? Mostly. Yeah, let's get you back in the zone so that everyone's ready. Then I'll then I'll see about throwing plasma grenade at that guy. There we go. I'm gonna move the grenadier, so it shouldn't be a problem that I'm destroying his cover. And it said it's not. It says it's not gonna hurt him. There we go. His armor shredded. Let's move our grenadier. Hello, elite lancer. You're adorable. Way out there. Hanging out there, gonna die, having a swell time. Let's just get you back in the base before you get killed. I, I didn't even, I didn't even deploy you, Evo. I haven't seen you for a while. Probably because he, he kind of fell behind on the rankings as far as everyone's level goes. There we go. There's a kill for you. If for, you, you get drawn into the concept of the game's constantly making you, telling you, every mission's impossible, you're totally fucked forever. And so you start losing track of, like, all those lower level characters you haven't been taking on missions because you keep thinking, oh, well, I'll take them, I'll take them when it's less difficult. But every mission says, you're fucked. And so you just never get to use that character. I wonder, can I just go get a kill on this guy? I might be able to just go kill this guy, which, which would just be amusing. Oh. That guy was an Overwatch. Commander. <laughs> Let Lancer just wreck that guy. Successful mind control. Alright. The moment no one needs a heal, let's get our Grenadier out of danger. Uh, he can sprint back or he can go back one action and, and shoot something, basically. But yeah, the enemies are so far away, I should just really... I should just get back in there. Okay. Let's just get in the zone. Similarly, let's get you behind full cover. 
If you say so. Inside the Z zone. And if I say heal, who are you going to you're just going to target Gandhi? That makes sense. He took one damage, but that's Overwatch instead. Overwatch. All right, next turn Rose can run all the way back. Hopefully they'll attack the Lancer and the decoy and that'll be enough distraction. Oh my god, everything just exploded. <laughs> that just happens sometimes where the game just doesn't know, just freaks out. Is it Ooh. I think the decoy survived. That's handy. It would have been nice to mind control the Andromedon. Ooh, Codex. Boom. Aw. Oh. Well, I I can hope. I'll get him next time. Ooh. At least their teleport seems to have a limited range. Oh yeah, they're being distracted sufficiently too. And they're missing. They failed to kill they kill they failed to properly kill the uh the decoy and they've they're missing the lancer. That's great. Oh no. Oh no. Here comes the wounds, because this guy is rock- Oh, his turn's over. Oh, he's sprinting. Cool. These guys are fucked, because they have super long range with their explosives, so if they launch them, I'm in trouble. Yes! He also got distracted by the Mimic. Yeah, we learned last mission the threat of being attacked. Uh, like, everyone's clumped up for the evacuation. We do not want them to get attacked that way. Let's get you behind cover. On the move. That should be everyone back in the safe spot. So now we just do the takeoff command. Commander, not all of our people are back on board yet. If we lift off now, we'll be leaving our troops behind. But it says soldiers remaining zero. That means everyone's in this. Oh, does it think that that's one of my, I think the game is bugged and thinks that that's one of my soldiers. Oh well. Uh, one, t one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's all my soldiers. You know what, I'll just save. Lift off. There we go. I have a save, so if if we do lose somebody, I can I have that taken care of me at least. But as far as I can tell, everyone's inside the square, so it should be safe. And if that goes wrong, the game may have misled me somewhere. Commander, not all of our people are back on board yet. If we lift off now, we'll be leaving our troops behind. What units are gonna be? Yeah, they've got to be talking about. They've got- they've got to be talking about the, uh... The- the mind-controlled guy, which I don't care about. Excellent work, Commander. Looks like the Avenger lives to fight another day. Yeah, zero- zero soldiers wounded or killed. Defeat- finished the level in four turns. Wow, we actually defeated half the enemies, apparently. Flawless. Huh. A unique encounter happened, and it was actually shorter than normal. I'm, I'm, I, was, I was sitting here thinking, like, I'm gonna be here for two hours when I, when I saw special cutscenes happening, just because that's usually how it goes. Expectations while working with limited resources. Impressive, Commander. Oh, wow. We've got a major over here. Oh, maximum level uh, specialist. Uh, s capacitor discharge. Send the gremlin to the location, which emits substantial electronic discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units. Robotic units take more damage. Nice, an anti robot skill. Those are my biggest threat. A restoration. Gremlin flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. Oh wow, a full party heal. Ah, oh, that's a hard call a little bit. I already have the ability to heal people like crazy. And I have... I have revival protocol and field medic. Restoration's like both combined, but capacitor discharge adds brand new abilities. Like if I take this stuff combined, this means that... Let's see... Yeah, we have a healing gremlin, we have bonus heal. We have healing gremlin, we have bonus heal, we have the ability to revive people, we have the ability to give somebody defense and an overwatch. We have the ability to take another shot after successful overwatch, and then add that, the ability to go anti-robot, like that's a, a huge range of really useful abilities, as opposed to re restoration being kind of redundant on top of abilities that she already has. Even if it is more powerful, probably. All right, we got that we got through that unscathed. Go snipers, huh? Only one wounded character left should be. Yep, it's just balls. Oh, Wonderbot's still shaken. Oh right, because I, I took a. Yeah, because Hooded Atheist was my 
was my uh, specialist for that run. They didn't go. They didn't come along. Still, successful. We're safe. We made it. A-okay. And one day I'll finish these things. I just need to get back to the base. 